Hey guys, it's Riley, and today I'm here with my dad, and we are going to do part of the parent tag, but it's more of the dad tag, because he's the only one here. You get the picture. Either way, I'm taking questions from the interwebs, and I am asking him things, and things that I come up with, and yeah, so let's get started. I'm the dad. He's the dad. His name is Ken. He's my father. Bet you couldn't tell. What was I like as a child? You ran around and hugged everybody on earth. Everybody. Everybody. You'd go out to eat and you'd have to hug the waitress. I'd hug the waitress. You'd have to hug the person that sat us. Yeah. You'd have to hug the people that sat next to us. <laughs> you pretty much had to hug everybody. See, I'm a very people-oriented person, but I also really don't like people. Like, it's very... What do you think of me making YouTube videos? Like, getting into the whole thing? Yeah, it's a form of artistic expression, I guess. What was something really funny that I did when I was younger? Well, Riley decided to take a train ride on a That was not my fault! That was not my fault! That was not funny! That was terrifying! On the New York subway, alone into the Bronx. That was not my fault, that was your fault. We were in Lower Manhattan and... I've I've literally told them this story before. <laughs> in my tie-dye video with David, I told them this story. In the moment it wasn't funny, but in the end it was hilarious. It was actually. his fault. It's his fault. He swatted my hand away from his belt loop. That was all him. It was all him. If you had to rename me, what would you name me? Daniel Wayne. Daniel Wayne? That's the one Mom liked, isn't it? That was the name we... Yeah, that was one of the names we chose. When we were having children. Oh, I like this one much better, Riley Kyle. Oh, I like it so much better. <laughs> Daniel Wayne is too, like, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. What is one thing you wish I would do? Be happy. I already know the answer to this one, but what's something I do that annoys you? <laughs> you are on your phone way too much and you turn on notifications for way too many things. I don't... I, here's you don't need to be notified of all those things because you don't check all five bazillion of them. No, I don't think you understand is that these notifications are all for the same things. They're just for different people on the same things. Like my Twitter notifications, they're all fill up. Ben J. Pierce, Tyler Oakley, Connor Frankton, they're all on Twitter. But if you they're could, just for different people. But if you could actually check your email and use your calendar. That'd be very helpful. This one's gonna be really difficult. What is something I obsess over? <laughs> Supernatural, Doctor Who, Harry Potter. Okay, those are three fandoms. Now give me something else. Tyler Oakley. That's also a fandom. <laughs> and Twitter. He's not in the know. You can tell he's not around much. <laughs> Where would you like to see me in five years? Southern California would be nice. Oh my god, right. Especially in February. Right. <laughs> no, but uh, California be finishing up uh, your uh, college education would be kind of a nice college. thing. Yeah. Or close to being finished with it since you're starting it yeah. this fall. I am starting it this fall. WCC. What? What? I can't talk. Three. No, the answer is 42. What is a time when you were proud of me? Like, one time. Gotta name a time. I'm nervous because I've never, oh. like, asked these questions before, so he's gonna come out with something that's gonna make me cry. No, I mean, when you achieved your, your driving permit and level one license. That, yeah. That's very cool. Is that cool? That I'm was proud very, of very cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, of when you cut your first album on Bandcamp. Yeah. That was pretty they cool. don't know that, but <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was that was really cool. When you won the uh, talent show and that my freshman year up against yep. two juniors. Yep, and you smoked them. So yeah, that was cool. Yeah, <laughs> it was a lot of moments. What's the worst thing I've ever done that you're willing to share with the internet? 
Well, there was a time when we were shopping, and you threw the biggest fit. So bad, I had to grab you by your britches, <laughs> hold you over my shoulder with legs flailing and arms flailing, walk you from the back of the store, out the front of the store, across the parking lot, at kicking and screaming, put you into the back of the car, and then we had to leave at that point. Oh my god, <laughs> I didn't know that. That was pretty bad. What is your favorite moment or memory of you and me? Like, just you and me, not the family. But oh, us. at Disney World the last time we went. Riding all the roller coasters. Riding all the roller coasters. Yeah, my sister and my mom don't like roller coasters, so we just decided, like last summer, we just decided to go all for it. And I convinced him to go on Rock and Roller Coaster, and he didn't know it went upside down. <laughs> and he's like, we get on the coaster, and he's there, and we go under the loop, and he's like, my butt's not touching seat! And I about <laughs> died for the rest of the day. Yeah, we went on every roller coaster at Disney World. Every single one in Hollywood Studios that day. Yeah. How was I throughout elementary and middle school? Awesome in school. You were great. I was good in school. Teachers liked you. You were I don't know why. <laughs> well behaved. You were a stellar student. Oops. <laughs> what would you change if you could raise me again? I'd introduce you to a musical instrument earlier in life. Earlier in life? Earlier in the fifth grade? Yeah. Because I started playing trumpet in fifth grade, and that was great, and I love my trumpet, and I need to get back on that. Yeah, but I would have introduced you to piano and, and uh, guitar soon. Oh, this is the last question, and here we are. This is the hard-pressing question, and this is, as my people know in recent discoveries, for you guys, describe my perfect guy. I have no idea. Tyler Oakley. <laughs> okay, name a perfect guy who's not 10 years older than me. No, I... Like, describe my ideal guy in a relationship. Well, you want somebody who likes the things that you like. So, a Sherlock Hoobian or whatever you call them. <laughs> uh, whatever. You know, it, it enjoys the things that you enjoy. The music and the... That it? Huh? That it? Yeah, I think so. No. <laughs> no? They gotta be a good cuddler. And I'm also very needy, so they have to be very attentive. But other than that, he, got, he did pretty well. Did you just call yourself high maintenance? I'm very high maintenance. I know I'm high maintenance. Oh. That's why my relationships don't work out, because no one wants to deal with me. Hey guys, that's all we have for you today. Thank you for watching. It was really good being able to share this experience with you, and my dad has never done this before, and he will definitely be in some of my new videos. All right, that's all we've got for you, so like, comment, subscribe, do all that you do, and I will catch you later.